Welcome to my garden. I, t I just tore down all of the green beans yesterday and there's a lot more room to put in for, uh, fall planting. This tomato is going crazy. These little turnips are starting to develop their roots. You can see that there's the top of that one showing. This is the second uh, burst of fruits off of this bell pepper. Already enjoyed a lot of Thai basil. I just picked all the ripe um, purple Cherokees, but I think we're gonna get another bloom. There's, there's some flower buds starting on some of these. I hope so. Those are delicious. This yellow crookneck has produced a few, but I'm getting a lot of end rot. I've heard that calcium is wanted, so probably do a milk spray. This butternut has finally come alive. That is the second fruit from it, ripening on the vine. It's putting up with getting pecked quite well. These tomatillos since I cleared the beans out, they have room to train up. This Spanish onion is almost ready. That thing's been in there for months. They take like uh, three or four months. There's the thyme, and I added an oregano. The cherry tomato is still going crazy, and it's taller than me. <clears throat> This tomatillo is the best one, but I still have yet to get fruit off of it. Here's our buck, our new buck, Jack. He loves to come out for hops in the mornings. The bricks stay cool here. <clears throat> Here's the cucumber. I pulled a lot of fruit off of it. Some babies starting up on the upper part portion. The bok choy is ripening. The carrots are getting bigger and stronger. This perennial bell pepper has a nice one fattening up, turning color. More carrots. The zucchini has got three strands producing fruit and it's been pruned because it was starting to sprawl. There's a new Roma tomato just starting. Those onions are taking forever. And remember the tiniest cantaloupe in the world? It has sprung into shape. It's got some babies on it. There's that cherry tomato. Pretty amazing. The sweet red pepper. It's getting taller. It's got some ripenings. This um, Santa Fe pepper is loaded. I had to put some sticks to brace it up. Look at all that delicious fruit. That's another yellow crookneck pushing through. You can see these tomatillos being happy to reach for the sun. I'm so excited about that butternut. Those things are expensive in the store. <laughs> More tomatillos. This one was wanting to creep on the ground, but when I took those beans out, now it could climb. And it looks a lot healthier. And I'm noticing so much less of the septoria fungus that I've been battling with hydrogen peroxide spray. There's almost none left and I really think applying neem oil to the carrots in a timely manner preserved those. They are looking super happy. Plus it's fun to prune off the falling over leaves and give them to the bunnies. Over here 
this. I harvested so much yesterday. A huge pile. This um, artichoke is uh, multiplying like mad. And I added a garden sage down there. The thing I love about this planter is it's basically an in-situ worm farm. And there's worm castings just rolling out through the cracks. It sinks down and then I just put a new load of rabbit straw and the worms break it down. The buttercup squash. I made a terrible mistake last week and when I was pruning the sick leaves because it's got powdery mildew. It's scorched. It's got powdery mildew. So it's ready for a new pruning, but last week's pruning I accidentally cut the lifeline of the second plant that was actually bigger. It had completely covered the trellis. Oh, the sigh. A fallen soldier to the cause. But uh, the remaining one, as you can see, definitely has some beautiful little green pumpkins ripening on it. And the family loves them. I've been stuffing them. I stuffed it with um, Italian sausage and then I stuffed one of them with meatballs with homemade tomato sauce and wow everybody loves it and you can see I harvested the central sunflowers a couple of weeks ago this one I just haven't gotten to it <laughs> it's overdue yeah so that's the garden this week Cheers.